Hello Star Wars fans and toy fanatics, Steve back here with you today and today we're going to take a closer look at the Black Series uh, 3 and 3 quarters uh, line. Um, actually I've been talking to a couple of YouTubers and people in the Star Wars community and, and convinced me to actually do review on all these figures so look forward to a review on all these figures coming up very soon. Um, for the most part um, you know, I'm pretty happy with this this whole line. You know, there's not really anything I was not unsatisfied with. Uh, so yeah, they're a really cool line, uh, a really great series. So a highly recommended series. So if you're out there looking for Star Wars figures, uh, I do recommend this series. A very very cool uh, line and a very very cool action figures. So. Today we're going to actually do a review here, uh, we're going to do a review on, let's see, um, let's do Biggs, okay, so put those back there like so, and so as far as this big, uh, Biggs Darklighter figure, a very, very cool figure in my opinion, um, as you can see, he does come very nicely detailed, a great head sculpt. Nice, you know, again, I do love this packaging. I really do like this uh, whole um, Black Series packaging. It's very, very cool. Um, I love the little pictures they put on, on, on top there as well. Awesome, nice compact, sleek. I really like them. Here's the back of the box here for you, and a little bit of the text there for you. And a very nice picture of Biggs there from episode 4 it looks like. And this is number 4 in the series. A little bit of that for you. Very, very cool figure. Now, I've, there actually is a, a packing, packaging var variant going on these days if you're really hardcore enough. I don't know if you can see this on camera but right here on the side there's a little bit uh, embossed uh, design here just like similar to the orange design on the back but it's actually on the packaging which is uh, not on all the figures so I don't know. They not really mean much to me but some people are really hardcore and you know have to have one of everything so some of these have them and some don't. I'm not sure if which ones are, were the first ones that. I'm pretty sure these were probably the first ones released that have this little embossed uh, design on the side, but you know, nothing too major. So let's take a look at the figure here, real quick. Um, now, as far as the design on this figure, very, very, very cool. You know, I love the Rebel Pilots, and I have my share of plenty of these guys. And I do have a few other Biggs Dark Lighter action figures as well. But this one will probably be, in my opinion, of course, the definitive Biggs Dark Lighter. You know, as far as in his Rebel Pilot uniform. Um, let's take off this helmet real quick, which is he does have a removable helmet, which his head just popped off as well. Okay, let's take a closer look on that uh, head sculpt there. As you can see, very, very nice. Nice detail on there. Nice detail. And with the these figures, they all come with all the points of articulation that we all love. Starting with, you know, ball joints on the arms, ball joints on the elbows, swivel wrist, a nice ball joint on the upper torso, he does have swivel legs, ball joint on the knees and also articulation in the ankles as well. So overall, you know, just uh, another continuation from the vintage series I think, you know, with this articulation which is very very welcome. And very very cool. Uh, if you can look at the detail on his uniform, everything's in the right spot. Nice detail on everything. Very very cool.
right down to his little uh, um, his ammo pouch. I'm not sure what that is. I, I, I forgot what it was, but I read on it, but I just can't remember often what that is anymore. But, you know, well, still pretty cool. And uh, I think he's got his space beef jerky in here. That's what it is, I think. But who knows? But again, you know, a very, very nice figure. Again, articulated everywhere. And uh, very, very cool. Highly recommended. So uh, there is actually an uh, X-Wing coming out here for this guy pretty soon. I'm not sure if it's a Toys R Us exclusive or not, but I think it is. So you will be having a vehicle for him very soon. So I'm looking forward to that. Again, you can catch more of the detail on this guy. Very, very cool. And let's take a look on his uh, his helmet here, because his helmet is awesome. All right. Lots of detail on this thing. Lots of detail. And uh, I'm not sure uh, how accurate is this is to the movie, but I'm pretty sure it's very accurate. And it's made of a soft, you know, pliable plastic, which comes with the goggles already on there, which is very cool. But again, you know, a very nice addition to this figure, a very nice helmet, and I love removable helmets on most figures. Some might, you know, some I don't really care for, but for the Rebel Pilots, you know, I really do like the removable helmets, which is very cool. He also does come with a uh, blaster which is not really any paint apps or anything on this uh, it's very plain um, get that in focus for you there we go you know very nice blaster very very cool again not no detail on the the blaster itself, just a straight black mold. But you know, I wish he would have came with some kind of holster or something to put this in. But you know, oh well, not not complaining or anything. But you know, would been would have been nice. But I don't think they had holsters on these uh, uniforms anyway, so no big deal. So again, overall, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was Big's Dark Lighter from the Black Series. And I will be back with some more reviews on all these figures here. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and happy hunting.